So, oh, yeah, man. We got to show some love to Pimp C today. Young Pimp, young Pimp C. Pimp. Uh, God damn. Death date was yesterday. Also, Fat Pat, the legend, birthday. Damn. Fat Pat, man. Fat Pat, man. I so was, I, I was telling you earlier, bro. I remember when they, when they announced he, he passed away, bro. Yeah. That shit was crazy, nigga. For people that don't know, Fat Pat is one of the ace time music legends, one of the curators and creators that have right. y'all. For all my niggas that be sipping drink and talk about this drink shit and hard, you know, he he one of the niggas that's the staple of that. Yeah, you man. know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to Fat Pat, man. He yeah, is one man. of the staples. Of the drink sipping, the culture, the, the candy, the paint. candy paint, the lingo, starch dying, looking good on the set. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. I'll let that those, lingo, I'll let y'all those hear. Shit. He yeah. one of those ones, bro, that really was able to to put the 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 format and the pillar into our culture. Most definitely, we got so many more, but his birthday just passed, so I met, I want to make sure. When I thought about it, we gave him his flowers, man. My yeah, favorite man. DJ Pat freestyle of all, I mean, I said DJ Pat, my bad. No, my bad. Not my that bad. guy. Not, not DJ that Pat. Guy. My favorite Fat Pat freestyle of all time, bro, I'm going to have to say, and I say freestyle, because he got so many hit records, but I say the freestyle is that uh, him and Kiki, that been around the world. Been around the world. I done been around the world, and I, I, yeah, I. Yeah. I've been player hate it. Okay, him, okay, him and Kiki okay, got a freestyle okay. on that bitch, man. That nigga wrecked that hoe. Man, I ain't gonna lie, man. That, that. Swing down, sweet jury, us yes, let us ride. We do the body rock and we do the south side. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. Let bitch. us ride. Yeah. That nigga was rapping about the summit on that hoe. Bro, I ain't gonna and lie. TV at the summit. When I got everybody in the crowd jumping. Bro, when you listen to Fat Pat, man, it, it, it brings up a good time and a good memory listen to his nah. music. For real, for real. Facts, bro. Because, you know, we, we was listening to some shit. We was talking about sampling some old shit, bringing it back. Yeah. So I'm listening to all these uh, Fat Pats and Mo. Big Moles and, and and just the Big Steves, all this old shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But when I'm listening to the Ghetto Dreams and all that right yeah. there, man, say man. Ghetto Dreams. I'm talking about that, that album, nigga. Yeah. That album, nigga. That nigga was musically inclined for Bro, a young nigga. He, 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 he was one of them ones that really... He knew what he wanted to do, knew his sound, knew knew what beats, what what he wanted to sample. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. he really was one of them ones, man. And they took somebody that really, I think, would have changed the game. As nah, far he was as gonna go to the next level, bro. You know what I mean? He was gonna he was gonna be one of the ones that basically, that really, basically, he was like, I don't want to compare the two because they different, flow different, style different. They both played with the melodies back in the day. Cause he played with the melodies, but like what Big Mo became, you know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like for sure, like that nigga Fat Pat is that nigga. Player hitters wanna know who you uh, are. When you gonna we gotta tell y'all some which songs to check out, bro. Know. Hey, say, so man. we got a song called Superstar. Superstars, man. Pookie y'all just was singing out. the hook. Player haters wanna know who you are yeah. when you're coming down like a superstar. Yeah, Player say. haters wanna know who you be. It's, it's Fat, Fat Pat in the boy Mike, Mike D. D. Also. Yeah. Heart of a hustler, mind of a G. Player yeah, hate niggas, niggas can't, can't fuck with me. me. Heart of a hustler, yeah. mind of a G. Player hate niggas can't fuck with me. So, hey, man, I want y'all in the I chat. I know y'all niggas know Tops Drop, man. Tops Drop, Tops keep dropping. Time, the, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. if anybody, Body Rock, shout out Marcus body Brown. Rock, body that's what I was going to tell anybody from the chat. Head. Body rock, body rock, yeah, man. I was going to tell anybody from the chat, bro, if you know anything about this, make sure you get tapped in, nigga, and, and let the people know where to go check out some of this Fat Pat the Legend from, nah, man. For real, man. We got to sh- check that out, man. And that's what I be saying, like, you know, with the podcast, bro, we got to, we doing a good job of it, though, talking about the Houston nah, shit. facts. We making sure we keep this Houston in- keep inclusive me, on this topic. Yeah. Just don't want to make everything Houston know, but we got to talk about this ace time shit for the people, bro. Nah, DEA, man. DEA, man. Dead in Alliance, on, man. man. Am I a player? Yeah. Playing these hoes like they were sailors. Shout out to everybody in the chat, <laughs> hey, man. Hey, say shout out to man. What's up? What? And, 
And uh, yeah, check out Fat Pat, man. That shit comes. Yeah, that back if in you day. only knew, nigga, that was that was yeah. one of the ones you play with your little old, little old. You feel yeah. me? Yeah, yeah, I'm a player. Yeah. And uh, you know, Pimp C, of course, man. You know him dying out there in L.A. Yeah. I remember. Now that's one death I remember. Nigga, I was on Beltway Eight, man. My friend called me. Nigga, that one of my colleagues. I was on Beltway Eight, nigga, yeah. and they called like. Nigga, Pimp C died. Nigga, Pimp C dead. Yeah. Cut on the radio. Cut on the radio. Yeah. And nigga cut that radio on, bro. It, it just like, as soon as I heard his voice, nigga, I was like, this nigga dead. Because, you know, they yeah. on the radio, they play them little marathons of them niggas and shit. So it was just like, damn. I was, when Pimp C died, I was on 59. Cause I stayed in Humble at the time. I was on 59. I remember that Best Buy right there, the music store. Right. I was over there in that area. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I don't know where the fuck I was going. But I do remember that's why I was at when he died. And we was just all talking about it like, damn, Pimp C died? What the fuck? Like, Bro, we was on side of Bill Wade, yeah. nigga, in a, in a Mustang, nigga. Uh, that hoe had went dead, nigga, on some yeah. shit. Know I remember it was cold. Facts. I remember it was cold that day. Facts. And I was just like, damn. And then I remember uh what's a college showing love, uh fifty cent. I remember fifty cent getting on the on the radio somewhere and, and talking about it. He was like, Man, I know it's hard for Houston right now, man. They lost Pimp C. They lost hard Texas, for Texas. Nigga. That's what he said, Houston and Texas. He was like, Man, I know that I know they're going through it down there right now. So, you know, one thing about Pimp, bro, I just feel like the game would be different if Pimp C was still alive, bro. Nah, facts, People in the man. chat, what do y'all think? Because he, he was a hell of a producer, bro, writer, didn't he rap his ass off, you yeah. know what I'm saying? He was just all around m musical, for real. Yeah. Um, Just terrible loss, bro. That was a terrible, terrible, terrible loss, bro. I, I, I. I love that nigga production so much, bro, yeah. because that nigga was dope as hell. And you know, you know what I mean? Look, so while we on this... Shout out three two, cause nigga I learned so much over this past two weeks for real damn near about three two he just fell in my algorithm. Oh, so bro, bro, I did not know like that. I I seen the uh the one day you hear somebody put that one day you hear uh, Marcus Brown. Yeah, nigga, did you know three two produced that, bro? Oh, mm, didn't know that. Three two, never knew that. Yes, sir. One day yeah, you hear that, that beat and shit. And then he, he, he produced that, bro. He produced Next a lot gone. of shit. And nigga, I ain't even know that the, the, the whole that old whole Snoop Fly style that wow wow wow. Nigga, that came from three two. Yeah, I had seen that somewhere, bro. Before. I did not even know that. I saw shit. that shit somewhere before. So I man, saw shout that. out three two. And man, I think he gave him two. the flowers. For nah, that. he did. He yeah, did. Yeah, he, he did. Gave him the, that's he why did. I noticed he did. that. He I did. didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, that shit be yeah. crazy. Niggas don't be See, knowing that bro, shit. bro just said he birthed yeah. Snoop Dogg lingo. Yeah, yeah, facts, facts. Yeah, man, three yeah. two, three two, man. Shout out three two. Bro. Nah, Bandemic got a great point right there. If Pim, I said, man, think about if Pimp C was in here, in here as vocal as he was, so how would the game be? And yeah. it said he would be outspoken like Boosie on social media, but wiser and more mature, in my opinion. Nah, facts, bro. Nah, he definitely would. Because it would have been a lot of it. It, it would have been a lot of. I feel like the independent game would have would have been been some different down here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because he was already dropping them gems, bro. And like facts, a lot of niggas was saying that older rappers didn't give game, and it's just like really what niggas be saying. Niggas kind of be wanting you to hold their hand, bro. And, mm -hmm. like, when exactly. they say really get exactly game, they don't really be mean the game. They really be like, give me an opportunity. Mm -hmm. That's what they want. They want an opportunity. They don't want game. They want you to put them on because niggas like Pimp C, uh, several other artists, you know, you could go watch the old interviews where artists were saying, man, we don't even make that much money off our music, bro. We got to, this is why we invented clothing lines and we make our money off touring. And then you would see like your Irv Gotti's and your uh your fucking uh Dame Dash is saying, man, a million dollars ain't shit in this rap game. No facts. Yo, especially, goals especially, especially when Dame Dash broke that shit. Yeah, he, I know y'all remember that. Remember shit. that old yeah, shit? I remember like, that. You gotta get fly. That's gonna cost. They did the whole like breakdown of that rap shit about like how niggas don't really get the money, but you have to find a way to make it work. No, and I was like, yeah, that's 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 a lot. They gave a lot of game, bro. And Pimp C, Definitely. you just it's endless amounts of content 
of Pimp C just giving game, dog. Like crazy. That's crazy when he game. came home. He was yeah. dropping that shit like you dropping know what knowledge, man? nigga. No, he was on this book, but I liked Pimp C because the intentions, his overall message and intentions were good. It was never like, hey, I'm just in this bitch to cause hate and destruction and, right, right, and, and, right. And, and shit on people and hate on people, bro. Like, nah, nigga, he was really giving that, that sauce and that flavor that niggas needed. So rest in peace to Pimp C also, man. So that leads us into our next conversation.